over how to add the underarm and back elastic to the Jordan knit bra. This is a bra that I have been working on. Um, I rolled up the straps and put a little clear elastic around them to just kind of keep them out of the way. And I also basted um, along the side or the underarm and the back um, and also the bottom. I don't normally do this, but I thought it may make pinning easier in the video, so I'm not fussing with a bunch of layers. Um, you can baste, you don't have to, um, but this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna take our Pico elastic, this is 3 8 inch Pico, and we're gonna run it all along the underarm and the back. If you are doing the hook and eye closure in the back, this will be done in two pieces. Uh, this is the knit back, so I will only be doing one piece. Um, I'm just gonna like quickly kind of measure out a length of elastic just so I don't have this whole um, thing to contend with. I'll measure out a piece. I'm gonna add a little extra and then we'll cut this off. Okay, so with the bra right sides up, we're gonna look for the plush side of our Pico. This is the side that we want touching our skin. This little scalloped edge right here, that's your Pico edge. We're gonna wanna sew right above that. So this is 3 8 inch, so we'll sew with about a quarter inch seam allowance. So I want my Pico edge to go right to the edge of my bra strap. There is a little bit extra here to accommodate different widths of elastic. So I'm gonna place this piece really close to the edge of my strap. That way when I stitch up here and I turn it back, it's gonna be a nice sharp corner up there and we're only gonna see the Pico edge. So with the plush side of the elastic facing up, the Pico edge facing in, I'm gonna start pinning. This pattern does not give specific lengths for the elastic because elastic types the stretch varies greatly. So some elastics are stretchier, others are firmer. Um, the best rule when applying Pico is just slight tension. Like you just, you barely wanna stretch it. Not enough that it's gonna cause like a big wrinkle when top stitch, just put a little bit of tension on it. So we are gonna pin this all the way down and you can see it kind of tapers a little bit here as we get Further down, you'll want to go right to the edge, but we'll trim all of this off. So go ahead and pin your elastic all the way around. Okay, now our Pico is pinned all the way around. So we are going to start sewing. You can start on whichever side. Um, I use a lightning stitch and we're going to sew right to the edge of that Pico all the way around. Or if you're doing the hook and eye closure back, you'll sew one half and then the second half. Now we have our underarm elastic sewn in place. Instead of just turning this and top stitching it, we're gonna use a pair of scissors and we're gonna trim out the seam allowance. This really reduces a lot of bulk in the underarm seam. Now that we've trimmed all the seam allowance, we're gonna turn under our Pico and we're gonna pin this in place. If you look at it from the top side, all that's showing now is this little scalloped edge of the Pico lace. We're gonna pin this all the way around and then we're gonna stitch it in place with a regular narrow zigzag. Here's the underarm elastic stitched into place. As you can see from the top, the Pico edge is exposed and then when you flip it over to the underneath, this is the plush side of the elastic. Uh, since this is the knit back version, it is all one piece. So the elastic runs from the top of one arm C across the back and then to the top of the other. If you had done the closure in the back, the hook and eye closure, your elastic would be in two separate pieces, but the construction for that is the same. In this video, we'll go over adding the elastic under bust band. I like to sew mine in the round, so I measure off how long I want my elastic. Um, you can do it at a one-to-one -one ratio just with a little bit of slight tension. You can also measure this off on your body and see what's comfortable for you. But I put my elastic ends wrong sides together, so the plush sides together. 
um, this is what's going to be exposed in the back. So now my little seam uh, is going to be hidden once we attach. Um, and then I just divided my elastic and the bottom of the bra into four pieces or into four equal sections, I'm sorry. So what we're going to do is we're gonna turn the elastic with the plush side out. The pico edge needs to be facing up and then we're just gonna pin this all the way around. You can add as many or as few pins as you like for this step. I only add, I only add four pins. I pin in the center, I pin on each sides and uh, in the back. Now this is what the bottom of our bra looks like. We are going to sew with a lightning stitch, that's a stretch stitch. We're gonna sew just below this pico edge. So this is half inch elastic. So I'm gonna go about an eighth of an inch down for my stitching line. So I will sew this with a three eighth inch seam allowance. Just kind of stretching gently um, as I go. Here's the elastic completely stitched down. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna trim out all of the seam allowance. This is gonna reduce a lot of bulk in the seam when we turn it to top stitch. Now that we've trimmed out all the seam allowance, we're gonna undo our straps. I went ahead and went back in and remarked my uh, strap placement markers using my pattern piece as a guide. So we're going to make sure that the strap is not twisted and we're going to place the end of the strap right above the stitching line. Then we're going to fold our elastic up and we're going to pin this in place. So now the elastic, the ends of the elastic are tucked under the ends of our band. Now that we've got that pinned, you will flip the rest of this elastic up. You can pin it in place. I normally don't pin it. I just turn it under as I sew. And I sew this seam, or this, I top stitch the under bust band with a triple stretch stitch. <laughs> um, let me get this sewn and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, here is your completed bra. Um, as you can see, uh, your pico edge is visible from the outside. The plush edge is exposed on the inside. And if you look here closely, you can see that I used the triple zigzag stitch. It's like a normal zigzag stitch, but each little leg is made up of three um, individual stitches. It has great stretch. It is really good for those nice thick seams um, that happen sometimes in bra making. So this is the stitch that I prefer to use there. Now we will take a look at the straps in the back. The straps are secured underneath of this elastic band, but we're also gonna tack them right up here at the top. This kind of distributes the weight, like the pull from your shoulders, um, between both of these points, and it keeps it from distorting the back of your bra.